Hello, welcome back to IT Landy Nugget course. Uh, this is part two of Microsoft Azure uh, Cloud, Azure and ENT licensing. Yeah. So, a uh, quick recap to what we have covered last uh, time or the previous part. Uh, just to set expectation for this, uh, we said like the aim objective of this course to cover the license around these four sort of categories. Microsoft 365, Office 365, uh, EMS, Enterprise Mobility Security Suite, and Windows 10. And then we uh, walk through like uh, these are the features we're going to cover in more details now. Then we spoke about the options and approaches. So for today and the cost uh, around each one of these uh, four types or four modules. Today we're going to go, uh, we're going to basically uh, go through each one of these in more details and the features associated with them and the cost. So without further ado, I'm just going to jump to the first one, which is Microsoft 365 apps. Now, what do we have here? If you recall from the previous session, we spoke about the licenses and the cost associated with them. Now, what do we get if we choose to go down the route of uh, the information worker plans yeah so you can see here from the columns uh, for microsoft 365 app do we get this top client application and the answer is yes in relation to microsoft 365 mobile app office for web and application can be, uh, or this application, sorry, uh, you know, like Office and stuff like that can be installed up to five devices. And then um, editing premium features through the browser or any other method. And the multi language support for user interface for the application. Now, these are the major features for Microsoft 365 apps, you know. Now, if I go for 365 uh, E3 or E5, you know, all the features are available. Yeah. So Office 365, either E5 or, you know, either of these will cover for me what I need to do. And same thing apply if I move on to, you know, like the uh, mobility option. And then... Uh, if you if we if we if we if we look into the columns just to make sure like you are in line to what I'm talking about yeah because I'm just I'm realizing the columns of the license are should be above the columns of the features yeah so theoretically uh, the first two columns reflect the E3 E5 yeah now the security one which is column four and five ignore them. And then we jump in to the Office 365, yeah, E1, E3, E5, yeah. And no need for the EMS because this is purely Office, yeah. So quick recap, Office 365 and Microsoft 365, E1 and E3, they do provide the required uh, features. However, under Office 365, we have the E1 as well, which is $8. That one does not give me desktop client, but it will give me mobile. It will give me Office for Web, which means I can use the web version, and it can give me up to five machines here. Yeah? I can utilize it on, yeah? Other features, the premium ones, they are not available for the E1 license. Now, if I move on all the way to the end, which means the, not the Windows license, because, you know, column uh, after the Office 365, the three columns reflect to Windows 10, are not utilized so i move on to the microsoft office 365 and microsoft office uh, sorry microsoft 365 itself first two column f1 and f3 are not uh, possible to utilize any resources however i have a read only option for mobile app that will be under the security option security with compliance i can do office for web i can up have up to five machines plus mobile one same thing apply the same features apply to the office 365 f3 okay uh, a quick recap again 
if you get Microsoft 365, you get all the features associated with it for E3 and E5. The security are not required, both security add-ons and compliance add-ons. And if you get the Office 365 license, E1, E3, E5, they do cover everything we need. E1 only cover three features. Same thing applied to the F option. Uh, that was the Microsoft Office 365 application. I'm just going to move on now to something else, which is the email calendar and scheduling. Now, what do we get with these license? Again, similar to the previous one, the first column will match the E3, second column E5, fourth and fifth, the E5 security option and compliance option, just to make sure like you are aligned to what I'm referring to. So let's just start with the E3. I get 100 GP, plan two, plan two, and I get 100 GP mailbox size. I get calendar, desktop option, archiving, exchange online, public folder mailbox, resource mailbox, interactive mailbox, Microsoft uh, Shift, and I get Microsoft Booking. So these nice new features, yeah? This is with the Microsoft 365 license. Again, you can see the cost, $32 and $57, yeah? Now, column three and four, they're matching my column on the Microsoft 365 columns. Uh, again, three and four, we, they are empty. You don't require them. Now, if I go to the Office 365 uh, E1, E3, E5, yeah? This is the Office, the red one, yeah? What do I have? I will get, it's a bit cheaper. You can see the E1's like $8, yeah? I will get 50 GP mailbox calendar. There's no client for Outlook, you know, because it's a light uh, web app. Archiving, email archiving, online protection, public folder, resource mailbox. These are given basically, you know. You don't get interactive email box or you don't get Microsoft Booking. However, these are both available for E3 and E5, the $20 and the $35. If you noticed, you might ask, okay, what's going on here? If I, well, why don't you choose uh, Office 365, you know? E3, for, for example, like it's for $20 and I get all these features. Yeah. Now, however, though, you, you, can, you, you can see here, yes, you can get everything around. It's exactly the same as the oh, Microsoft 365 around the email calendar scheduling. However, there are additional features like the previous one we, we highlighted. You know, it's only available to the right subscription, right license. It doesn't mean like you got $32 here for Microsoft 365 and you pay $20 for Office 365. Office 365, it's purely about the Office side of it. We covered that earlier and we covered them in more details. But whereas the Microsoft 365, you get the Azure stuff as well, yeah? the fancy stuff, which we will drill down into later on. Now, this is the two options. If I move on toward to the, I now column number, uh, said like, Three four MT, then I got three four three six five enterprise mobility, two columns MT, I don't require them, and then three columns for Office or Windows 10, ignore them. Now we move on to the Microsoft 365 again, the F option, the front line option. Yeah, I go F1, you can see the front line option, you can get the calendar, you can get the mailbox public folder, but you can get chaos option for two GP, and that costs you eight dollars per month yeah these are the chaos you know the front line we're referring to like machines yeah very lightweight machines 2gp more than enough you get the calendar you get the online the online basically it's a given yeah online protection public folder and resource mailbox these are given yeah the fancy stuff like microsoft booking you don't get this one and you do not uh, basically uh, uh, get the online protection as well yeah i mean sorry the archiving part of it however if you get a F3, which is $4, you get all of these nice features, yeah? Apart from the Microsoft booking and the archiving because they cost additional money. Uh, this is the second part. So we cover the apps and now the email, calendar, and schedule. And it's here. You can, you know, review it when needed. And I will put reference to it. The last part, which for this video, uh, going to be around meeting yeah meetings calling and chat 
yeah, still within the same area. If I go for E3, I will get Microsoft Teams, unlimited chat, no limitation, online meeting, live event, webinars, screen sharing, record meeting, priority notification. However, with E3, I don't get any phone system. With E5, yes, I get the online phone system, I get audio conferencing, and I get Skype for Business, the online basically plan to for both of them yeah so you've noticed the only benefit only difference between microsoft 365 e3 and e5 it is related to the exchange online for phone system again that all the way down says phone system not available for e3 it is available for e5 same thing for the audio conferencing now i'm gonna repeat the same thing like the previous one column three and four are the security E5 compliant. They are not required here, so I'm going to be, leave them empty. Move on to the next level up, Office 365, E1, E3, E5, three columns. You can see all the dotted options, and all are available. Microsoft Teams for E1, E3, and 5, unlimited chat, online meeting, live events, webinar, screen sharing, record meeting, and priority notification are available for all the three licenses. However, for E5, similar to the previous one, I will get the phone system online. Okay? So theoretically here, the E1, E3, and E5 are giving us the same thing apart from the online phone system, which is unlikely most of the customer will be utilizing if they have an existing one. But this is the one you need to bear in mind. Now, EMS Windows 10 not applicable. I'm not going to ignore it here on skip and jump. Go back to the frontline license or options, which is which are similar to the you know information worker plan. Same with I've got the F1, nothing there. I've got the F3 and F5. Yes, everything they offer, but with Skype for Business, they offer plan one and I do not have phone system or audio conferencing. In addition to this one, the limitation I have with the F option is the webinar. It's not available, you can see this one. And exactly the same apply to the Office 365 F3, which is the $4. So you, you can see sometimes like you can save by looking at these tables, straight away say, okay, I can go, if, if, if you have like a frontline worker plan, you can go for the $4 option, you know, that will give you exactly like what others but however this is for we're talking about you know like a front disk you know stuff like that machines and so on uh i think that's all i have for you for this session the next session we continue with our you know feature approach and just a quick recap if i go back to my you know earlier highlight we spoke about microsoft 365 application we spoke about the email calendar scheduling and we covered the meeting calling and chat these three next we're going to cover another three goodbye from now and hopefully you have learned something useful bye